Hui Ming, a high-ranking general turned monk. He pursues Hui Ning along with hundreds of others. They not only hate Hui Ning, they're chasing him. Like they're going to track the guy down and either beat him up or worse. Hui Ming finds Hui Ning and he doesn't shout out, hey, he's here, guys, come on. So he says, explain the teaching to me, laborer, rice pounder. Shen Xiu was suffering from tension and problems because he was proud, but he was very covert with his ego. Here we have the more overt, malignant ego, don't we? Hui Neng says, when there is no good or bad, what is your original face? Before your parents were born. People have eyes, they have hands, a lot, not always. Hui Ming is greatly enlightened. Hui Ming says that although he had studied the truth for years, he had not yet seen his own face. But now he is like someone who drinks water and knows whether it is hot or cold without a thought. In the early verses of the Tao, even in the bamboo, the early verses, the wise ancients were patient as if wading into a winter stream, because by speaking less and by giving these examples, you can help people to feel and realize and accept that they always are the same, which is something you cannot entirely tell them in words. To wade into a stream and know whether it is hot or cold is to feel more out how we feel what we think. Hui Meng climbs down the mountain, he finds the other hundred pursuers, and he tells them, I have just climbed to the heights. But after that, there was no trace of him. I have climbed to the heights, but there was nothing of him to be seen. Well, why? Well, nothing in particular. If we all have the original face, who is he in particular then? Well, there's nothing of him.